Well, you can expect our team out at the election polls tomorrow, too, as we're tracking several big races on the ballot. Johnson County already seeing a surge in early voting, but there's some concern for voter turnout across the state line in Jackson County. KSHB 41 News reporter Leslie Delisbor joins us live. Leslie. That's right. Tomorrow, elections in Jackson and Johnson County are important, and election officials in both counties are asking voters to show up to the polls, no matter how big or small these elections might seem. Nobody wants, you know, 10 to 15 percent of the uh, voting population making the decision for them. In Jackson County, Board of Election officials are not expecting a big turnout. It's an off year of election, number one. Um, number two, the Poll notification cards went out last week, so the voters now know there's an election. But they are following all protocols and preparing for any number of voters who show up to the polls on Tuesday. We're always busy because it takes the same amount of work to uh, put together a small election as it does a large election. In Johnson County, the expectations are a bit different. The numbers for this 2021 election cycle have been very healthy, very strong compared to what it was two and four years ago. Uh, we saw over 25,000 people advance vote here through Saturday. We had an additional 2,100 for four hours today, so we see a really good turnout. And our vote by mail numbers as well. We sent out a, a good healthy number and they're starting to come back. With mayoral, school district, county board of trustees, and more races on the ballot, Johnson County Election Commissioner Fred Sherman predicts a 20% voter turnout. So the advice to voters is obviously kind of know who you're voting on. Um, these are nonpartisan elections, so on the ballot, will not list the political parties for the people that have run for office. If they want to take part and and not have and not complain about it later, that's when you get out and vote, even though there's only one or two questions. Reporting in Independence, Leslie Dellisport, KSHB 41 News.